In this video, we're gonna show you how to mirror your Moto G7 power screen to your TV. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, first of all, thank you for watching. Second of all, if you can hit that like button down below if you find the video helpful, leave us a comment. And also, if you can hit that subscribe button as well and turn on post notifications, hitting that little bell so you can be alerted every time we post new videos, that would be awesome for you and for me. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So again, we're gonna be going over how to mirror your screen to your TV. Now, we're gonna show you two methods on how to do this. Um, the first method is going to be how to mirror the entire screen to your TV. And the second method is going to be how to mirror uh, things from specific apps. So for example, if you have a YouTube video that you want to play from your phone to the TV or you want to play a video from Netflix or Hulu, we're going to show you how to mirror directly from an app, which um, is the better option because it will allow you to continue to use your phone to do other things while the video is being mirrored. So. Um, that is what we're going to go over and let's go ahead and get started. So um, to do this, you will need a couple of things. First of all, you will need home Wi-Fi. Uh, you will not be able to do this using just your mobile data. You will need home Wi-Fi. The second thing is you will need a streaming, a streaming device. So either a Chromecast, a Roku or a Fire TV stick. Now, the first option I show you on how to mirror the entire screen, you will only be able to do with the Chromecast. Now the other option I show you, you will be able to do on any one of those three streaming devices. So just FYI there. Now, the first thing you wanna do, swipe down from the top. Oh, sorry. You will also need to turn on your TV, make sure your streaming device is plugged in and connected to Wi-Fi, and you will need to switch your TV to the input that your streaming device is plugged into. So for example, if you have it plugged into your, your HDMI 1, you need to switch your, your source on your TV to HDMI 1 first so that you can see and be ready to um, mirror your screen and your TV can receive the mirror. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna swipe down from the top again and look for the cast button. Go ahead and tap on that. And this option is gonna come up. It's gonna say cast screen to device. Now your Chromecast should show up in this option here. Now obviously you need to make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on, on your phone, and make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network as your Chromecast. Once you are connected to Wi-Fi, when you swipe down, you go back to cast. And here you should see any of your Chromecast devices. So mine is named Office TV and under it says Chromecast. I'm gonna tap on that. And now you'll see my screen is mirrored to the TV. And now whatever I do on the phone will show up on the TV. So let's say I want to open the Play Store and I wanna look for some new games to download. Um, make sure your auto rotation is on as well. And so you'll see that the screen will rotate on the TV as well. And then whatever I do on the phone will show up on the TV. So same thing, any game I download, I'll be able to play it from my phone and see it on the TV. This will also work for photos as well. So any specific uh, pictures that you have, you'll be able to show them right from your phone. Same thing with videos. Now, this is basically option number one. Now, in this option, it's a direct mirror. Again, anything on your phone is gonna show up on the TV. Um, this, again, is a great option for just specific things like a game you'd wanna show or videos or pictures that you have that you wanna show on your big screen, but they're not the most efficient option for playing videos. Um, and just to show you, let's say if I were to go to YouTube and I were to Let's say I played this video right here. So this video, if I turn it, rotate it sideways, it will show in full screen on the TV. But the problem is I have to keep my phone in this same option every time in order for me to be able to uh, play the video full screen on the TV. I, I can't check text messages. I can't surf the web. I can't go on Instagram. I'm stuck. So here's what we're gonna do. This is method one. We're gonna go ahead and end this. Swipe down all the way. And you'll have an option that says casting screen. We're gonna tap on that. 
and we're gonna go ahead and disconnect from casting to the TV. And instead of casting the entire screen, we're just gonna cast from individual apps. So I'm gonna go to back to YouTube actually. And let's say I wanna play this same video here. In the upper right corner of the video, you'll see the same little casting option. Go ahead and tap on that. And here you'll see you actually have more options in terms of casting. So I can now send it to, this first option is a Roku. The, section, the second option is my uh, Chromecast. And the third option is my Fire TV Cube that's downstairs. So I can now send that video to more devices if I, again, just send it through an individual app. So I'm gonna select Office TV so it'll send back to the same Chromecast. And now you can see it takes a few seconds to load, but it's gonna to begin to play that video right on the TV. So now it's playing. I can go home and now I can do other things on the phone while that video continues to play. So that's why this is the more efficient option for playing videos. Now this doesn't just work with YouTube, it does work with other video apps as well. If you wanna stop it, just swipe down hit the little X next to the pause, and that'll stop it from casting the screen. But I can also go into, for example, a Netflix or Hulu, and that same little cast icon is gonna be in that app. So just to show you, I have a phone right here. And so if I go to Netflix on this phone as well, the cast option is right in the bottom right corner. I can tap on this, I have those same three options, and I can send it to either my Chromecast, my Fire TV device, or my uh, Roku. So you have all the same options that will appear right there uh, for you to be able to mirror just the video in the app to the TV. So um, hope you guys did find this helpful. Uh, just to give you a recap, I will have a link in the, in the description below. If you don't have a Chromecast or Roku or Fire TV device and you want to mirror your screen to the TV, they're really inexpensive to buy. They're usually around the $30 price range. So I'll, I will have links in the description of, of three different options of devices that you can purchase. Um, and also I'll have a little video on how to set up a Chromecast as well, because that's the probably the most complicated to set up of the three. So that'll walk you through how to set it up if you choose to get one. But anyway, I hope you guys found the video helpful. Like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that uh, subscribe button as well. And leave a comment down below uh, if you learned some things in the video. We always love hearing your comments. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care and have a good one.